Hello guys, and today I am very happy to inform you that for the first time in modern history, we shot down Russian supersonic long-range strategic bomber 222, capable of carrying X-22 missiles that they often use to target Ukrainian infrastructure. But it won't be able to do that anymore. What is also important, we did it while the aircraft was still in the air, above Russia, deep inside Russian Federation. And I can only imagine how many of Russian bombers and other evil machinery we could have stopped if we had everything we need to defeat Russia. But even with limited resources, with the need to reconstruct our old S-200 missiles, we are capable of achieving such unbelievable and huge goals. This makes me feel proud that I'm Ukrainian and proud that I can share with you this news. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. 222 is a strategic long-range supersonic bomber that carries heavy missiles and is often used to target Ukrainian territory. Many of them stay on a military airfield near Stavropol. This is another geographical location in Russian Federation that we'll learn because of successful military operation of Ukrainian armed forces. And uh, it is very evil because it travels quickly, it carries bad missiles, and it was a very great ambition of Ukrainian intelligence to down such jet, as this is a great signal to Russia. What is also beautiful, it took close to a week to wait for this bomber to come closer to Ukraine, but we've managed to target it 300 kilometers away from Ukraine, above Russia. And there are lots of videos on their Telegram channels with screaming people who observe the collapse of such an iron machine. It all happened in the fields, no victims, well, maybe some crew, but that is definitely a legitimate target because they bomb Ukraine, they invade the territory of the independent country, and for such criminal actions, they should be punished. And in general, it was a surprise for people in Russia to witness such a collapse of the aircraft they believed was invincible. What is most important, the head of NATO, Jan Stoltenberg, supported Ukraine and confirmed that Russian bombers used to bomb Ukraine are legitimate targets, no matter where they are. And I think it's actually very just. You don't need to wait for a bomber to cross your border and start killing your people to be able to neutralize it. Why not use this opportunity when it is still on the territory of Russia? And we did it beautifully. Uh, the head of Ukrainian intelligence, Budanov, whom many of you like and respect, same, same as I do, uh, told a little bit about this operation. It took approximately one week to develop because, once again, the moment, the right moment was needed. As we don't have long-range missiles and we are not uh, allowed to use lots of weapons given by allies on Russian territory, which is weird, like we are allowed only to shoot on our own land. But anyway, uh, we started redesigning, reconstructing our missile systems like S-200. And this one targeted Russian bomber. If you're new to the channel and many people watch these videos who are new, please subscribe. This is the easiest but still very effective way to demonstrate your solidarity and actually learn more about the destroy Russian warships, aircraft and other military stuff. And yes, oil refineries. I am sorry, but we will continue targeting them as they are legitimate targets to help us defeat Russia. And all the same, democratic world must be interested in the defeat of Russia as it is a global evil and an inspiration to other authoritarian regimes. So, to sum it all up, today we have witnessed a great operation 
indeed special military operation of Ukrainian intelligence that managed first reconstruct, redesign Ukrainian S-200 systems so that they can target uh, moving objects deep inside Russian Federation. This missile traveled 300 kilometers and met the bomber it wanted to. So they also had to wait for the proper moment. Imagine how many different calculations this demands from us. And once again, with very limited resources, we are capable of doing such impressive things. I don't know actually if in recent decades any other army of the world was able to destroy a huge strategic and supersonic, one moment please, supersonic bomber while it was in the air. There are lots of videos that I will not include in my vlog because Russian trolls often report Ukrainian vloggers, but you can find them. Uh, there are lots of videos that depict this beautiful moment of an evil Russian machine on fire falling like a leaf into Russian soil. And once again, this is a signal to other Russian airfields and Russian pilots. Now we can reach you much deeper than it was a month before. And with this kind of development, with this kind of creativity, we can achieve a lot. Once again, imagine how quickly we could have ended this war and returned back to normal, world back to normal, prices back to normal, and even your news might have been more optimistic if only back in 2022, back in 2023, we received all the necessary things to finish Russia. Just last year, they have spent approximately $1 billion on this war, and Ukraine 40 and supported by joint effort plus more 40. But in general, Russia already takes many resources from China, from North Korea, from Iran. And unfortunately, the longer the war continues, the more exhausted and bad it is for the world. But of course, we cannot allow this conflict to be frozen or negotiated or whatever, because once again, this is an inspiration for evil regimes. And most importantly, you see, we can finish them. So please help us do the job. And I know you share my attitudes and I'm very grateful for your comments and your support and I'm also super grateful that today we will finish our NAFO campaign because we have gathered all the necessary sum and I think in the beginning of May I will show you the beautiful Iron Birds drones that we get with your help and a NAFO track that will travel to a tank battalion of the 57th Brigade. And this is beautiful people. I love you very, very, very much. Join me on Instagram to have some more videos from everyday Ukrainian life. I'm active on threads, Twitter and Discord. Uh, thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and inspiring more videos and projects. This is such a blessing. I'm very grateful for that. And also we have a beautiful merch shop with lots of good t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps and stickers that work well as conversation starters. And a very important reminder, I invite you for our live conversation this Sunday. Sunday, not Saturday, 9 p.m. Kyiv time. Love you very much. United we stand. Slava Ukraini.